Hello, in this video we're going to use Onshape to add threads. Uh, we're going to do this in 2.2.5 for IED, the water heating tube will add the threads on. Uh, so we created this part in a previous video and now we just want to add our threads to it. There's a few different ways to do it in Onshape. Uh, the more difficult way, you could add a helix uh, pattern and then uh, sketch out the shape of that thread and uh, sweep it through. A lot easier way is by using a uh, custom tool or a custom feature in Onshape. Uh, so to do that, you come up on the top, all the way on the right hand side. Uh, there's a drop down where you can select to add custom feature. I've already got one. Uh, that's one we're going to add. It's called a thread creator. Uh, so we're going to look at how you find that and then how to use it. So I'm just going to add custom feature. I'm going to search my public features and then type in thread creator. Once I do that, I hit enter to search, and I am going to pick out one of these. I'm going to pick out version 2. It's a new version that's not uh, like a beta test, uh, so I'm going to select that. Uh, then I can select, click on it to add it to my custom features. So I click on it, and it gets added. Uh, since I already had it, it removed, so I'm just going to show you. I click on it, and it gets added. Uh, then to use it, you click the drop down, select the one you want, the thread creator. Uh, first, you have to tell it where you want the threads, so we're going to click on this side where the threads are going to go. Uh, then we have to, if we look back at the diagram, we can see it only goes half an inch. It doesn't go the whole length of it, so we have to change that. Uh, and while we're looking at the diagram, we can see the uh, thread per inch is 16. Uh, so when we're looking at pitch, remember all you have to do is take that number and divide it. One divided by that number, so 1 16th for the pitch. Uh, so now when we go back, uh, we come over, we want to change our pitch to 1 over 16. And we don't want it fully threaded. We don't want it going all the way down. Uh, instead, we want it going a set distance. Uh, and that distance is going to be 0 0.5. Hit enter, and that creates it. In this case, it's on the wrong end. So all I have to do is hit this sort of opposite end arrow, and it moves it to the opposite end. Uh, it doesn't tell us about taping at the end, but typically when you have threading, it's tapered to help you start screwing it uh, in or screwing a nut on. Uh, so we will add a taper, but we're not going to change any of the settings since it doesn't give us any of those uh, values here. So we'll keep a tape on it. Uh, but that's how you add threading to an item using Onshape. Uh, hit our green check to accept. Uh, well, that's an easier way to add threading using Onshape. Uh, once you're in there, if you need to go back and change, you just double click and you can change it. Uh, like we did in ANC standard, since it's UNC, that makes sense to use, but we could change our settings there as well. Uh, hopefully this helps you to add threading using Onshape. Thank you and good luck.